Cortical inhibition refers to a neurophysiological process in which aminobutyric acid, or GABA, I probably butchered that, inhibitory interneurons selectively attenuate the activity of other neurons in the cortex. So we're going to go over cortical inhibition today. So anyways, in English, cortical inhibition refers to your brain's ability to put the brakes on your body so that we don't end up hurting ourselves. Um, this is something that I've always thought of as fascinating. Um, if you ever heard those stories about someone that got struck by lightning and then their muscles literally launched them freaking feet into the air all the way over there somewhere or uh, the age old, um, the lady lifts the car off the child. We've all heard these stories. Um, the human body is really capable of a lot of things. Um, but we put a lot of, I mean, naturally the body puts the brakes on it so that we don't destroy ourselves. Um, there's a whole fight and flight and, uh, the whole fight and flight response, adrenaline. Um, but those are more involuntary muscular contractions. Um, we're talking about voluntary muscular contractions. Okay. Um, so that's where doing isometrics like this uh, in particular um, what i found the most fascinating type is overcoming isometrics um, pushing or pulling against an immovable force uh, just creates some of the most fascinating superhuman ridiculous strength feats that i have ever seen ever um, so <laughs> we're gonna go over that real quick and what this iso chain is gonna do as far as your cortical inhibition because we all have it um so another example of this would be um here i'll, I'll use a personal example so my knees right i messed up my left knee in 2017 doing lunges i messed up my right knee in 2018 doing leg press um both are tendon slash ligament injuries um one was complete stupidity. Actually, they were both really stupid. Um, one, because I wanted to rush out the gym. And the other one, because I didn't put wraps around my knee during the leg press, it was so dumb. And I wish I could go back in time and tell myself, you're an idiot, go wrap up. Um, but, you know, testosterone and pride, so. And the reason I bring that up is because the first couple days of doing these isometric uh, exercises, specifically the leg ones, I was kind of gun shy to really put a lot of pressure on my knees because um, what I've been finding is that it's been getting a little bit worse um, doing leg days now. I still do them. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not a coward about it, um, but it does hurt. Like the first set is just like, it's just pain. It's, it's painful to the point where it almost makes me want to not do leg day, but I'm going to do leg day because I came too far. You know, I'm sure some of y'all relate to that. Like, like I just explained, is protecting your body from itself. So it naturally tries to, if you guys have ever had an injury, you try not to put pressure on it, right? Because it hurts. It sends pain signals to your body, do neurons, and it hurts, you know? Um, so I felt that as well, and I'm just like, okay, why don't I just do this? Because you've read the book so many freaking times already, and you know what it does scientifically, and it strengthens those joints, okay? Um, so just go ahead and do it. So I started to do it. Um, again, as, as of this recording, it is day 14. Okay. Um, I have felt a difference. It's not a huge difference. So I'll keep you guys updated, um, in the weeks and months to come. Uh, but I do, I do feel a difference, but I, the cortical inhibition is very strong. It's very strong. It literally like my numbers were low the first couple days. So my numbers were low the first couple days for legs. They were, um, so my body's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't you forget that this hurts? You know, just relax and you don't have to put all that pressure in. And I was just like, okay, no, 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 just rip into it. Uh, and it, it was a, a tiny pinch painful for a second. And then I started to get used to it. Um, I'm starting to see that it doesn't hurt as much anymore. It still hurts, don't get me wrong, it still hurts. 
um, it's, it's, if I could rate it as like I don't, on a one to 10 scale, it was like a 10 when I started and now it's like an eight and a half, roughly ballpark. Um, but I, I also say this because if you if you constantly use that number, th this is why this is why the ISO chain is so just it's ridiculous for so many reasons in a good way. Um, but this is one of the main reasons why it's so good is because once you see that number, it it just changed everything. Now you're not just wondering in your head, hey, you know, I put everything I had. Well, no, you didn't. You see that you you specifically see that on on the number. On the, on the chain that you didn't. Um, so now you want to, you can increase your force production. Now, if you, if uh, I was using an OG ISO chain I have in the basement, cortical inhibition sets in, I have nothing to gauge. So I'm just ripping into it, excuse me, I'm just ripping into it with what I think is everything I have. And even then, like with my teeth gritted and my eyes shut, there's still cortical inhibition going on because I don't know exactly what my force output is. So as soon as the ISO chain came out with that force gauge on it, it really just, you really can break the limit on your body. So now you really know how much you're giving. I mean, for those that understand exercise science, even to the basic level, I mean, that is just a game changer by itself, um, let alone what this type of training will translate to into the gym. I am super excited to show you guys that video in time. It's going to be amazing. Um, particularly for me, I would like to show you guys my leg videos because I have the knee injuries. I would love to show you guys the leg videos. Um, uh, and the, particularly the, the squats and the uh, Romanian de uh, deadlifts. Um, also the Bulgarian split squats because um, a couple of months ago, I could do it, but it just hurt so bad. I would just, I'd rather not do lunges. So I took lunges out of my program entirely because my brain was inhibiting. My brain was putting the brakes on doing exercises like that because my knees hurt, cortical inhibition, okay? What I've learned is that the nervous system is very powerful. I'm doing these types of exercises day in and day out. Um, the isometrics manual suggests that you do it daily. I know not everyone can do it daily because of different life circumstances and situations, um, but you want to do it daily. I've found that um, the cortical inhibition just gets lower and lower and lower and lower every day. Um, now, of course, you'll have your off days, um, but all in all, it's, it's just like those little graphs um, where it's, it's never just a straight up or a straight down. It's always like a but it's, it's in an upward path, which is what matters. Um, and the, the, the cortical inhibition is getting less and less. Um, I noticed that with my exercises, I'm sure that at this point, some of you guys that have had it for almost two weeks are most certainly noticing it for yourselves. Um, and it's, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Um, it's pretty awesome to see what's happening with our bodies right now um, and what it's gonna translate to as far as feeling, as far as what we're able to do. Um, if you're into weightlifting like I am, what it's going to translate to in the gym, what it's ultimately going to mean for what your body looks like. Um, it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Just wanted to cover cortical inhibition, um, what it is, which is a recap. It's just the brain putting the brakes on your body so that it doesn't hurt and or destroy itself. Um, it factors into a whole bunch of different things, um, but it's essentially... If you have any aches or pains anywhere, it's trying to stop you from hurting yourself. That's what your brain is trying to do. But the, the good thing about this ISO chain is that not only does it, it makes you stronger in those weak joint areas, but it, it makes you stronger in those areas, but it also reduces the cortical inhibition at the same time. That's what makes it awesome. Okay, if that makes sense. If, there, if you feel like there's anything that I missed on this, uh, the, on this topic, uh, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to cover it. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos on the ISO chain, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.